Quarantine is when you restrict the movement of sick people. Tyranny is when you restrict the movement of healthy people. Dr. Ben Taper. The time will come when medicine will form into an undercover dictatorship restricting the art of healing to one class of men. The time is now. Because of this pandemic agenda, it's easier to point out the critical fingers from the brainless ones. We the people will fight this tyranny to the end. I think this is called arm to the teeth, smart man. The only thing standing between complete tyranny and a free people is the second amendment. I agree, but also freedom of speech. Freedom of speech probably, the, well, no. For freedom of speech is the first line of defense and the second amendment, the right to bear arms is the last line of defense. Hopefully we never have to ever use or exercise the second amendment. Look at what's happening in Australia who had their gun rights taken away 10 years ago. It's very true. In Australia, it's getting crazy. There's police brutalizing people, arresting elderly people in the, in, in, in the parks because they're sitting outside, I guess, without a mask on. I don't really know. Uh, there, there's people at a farmer's market that they told to clear out with like masses of police and riot gear, just people going about buying, supporting local businesses, buying their food. It's absolutely incredible what's going on in Australia. And I think this would be happening a lot more in America if people weren't armed and if we didn't have the current kind of defund the police thing. So in Australia, they don't really have that going on, I don't think, or at least not as much, where in America, it's a really big thing. So I think it has kept the police in check a little bit because they don't really want to become like the newest or latest headline and get fired or smeared or whatever. Just some interesting things to consider about the differences. Yeah, so... Just a quick video on waking up to the nonsense. Like, I want you to wake up. I want you to understand what this country was founded on. I want you to make sure that you stick up and protect your rights, protect your family. What's going to preserve America is enough people speaking up and being willing to stand up. Already, the left and the SJW mob online has gained a lot of ground. They're canceling people left and right. Apparently, if you're white, you're racist. And if you do anything for white people, it's not racism even though there's a lot of white people in America. So they don't have any rights anymore. They're, they don't get any equal opportunity. In fact, there's more poor white people than there are poor black people or anybody else. I guess they don't matter, right? Because the color of their skin, the amount of melanin, they don't suffer. They don't have hardships. They haven't been treated unfairly or whatever. Give me a break. Wake the f up. The elite, the media, all they want to do is stoke the flame of black versus white and us versus them and all this tribalistic nonsense. Because that's how they can garner votes and views. It's for money and it's for power. And the virus, whether it was manufactured or not, accidental or not, it is just like every politician in history. Never let a good crisis go to waste. Use it for every ounce of benefit you can generate. And look at all these mayors going on their soapboxes and trying to blame Trump, blame people for this and do that and whatever. Pointing fingers, calling names. American politics have quite literally become a reality TV show. You can't make this stuff up. And these are people that are in charge of masses of people and then write laws and do things and whatever. Wake up, people. If you don't wake up, if you don't stand up, if you don't stick up, if you don't promote your ideas, if you aren't willing to say to your family who maybe thinks the other way, no, enough's enough. I'm not going to hear it. I'm not going to go by. I'm not going to keep my mask on walking around like sheep. More people doing that will eventually tip dominoes over. Monkey see, monkey do. That's the only thing that large groups of humans adhere to. They adhere to what other people around them do. Very, very few people are able to stand up and go to the grocery store without a mask on. I do that. Sometimes I don't like the feeling. I don't want to draw attention to myself. I don't want people bothering me or saying things to me. I don't want it. This, I don't want it. I'm not doing it as a badge of honor or anything. I'm doing it because it is so fundamentally against what I believe that to put it on, it makes me feel like a fraud. And hopefully enough people doing that will be enough people following and doing the same thing. And then maybe we can take back our rights in this country. If we don't take back our rights in this country, they're not going to ever come back. That's what people don't understand about government. Government never takes more power and then gives it back away unless they're forced to. And this crap will not change unless we take it back. And we will be one step closer to socialism, communism, Marxism, fascism. And we'll be like China. We'll just be another superpower that is full of propaganda and the government tells us exactly what we do. We have no power. We have no say. We're just going to stay connected to our devices and watch our mindless entertainment, eat our crap food and go about our lives. And the next generation is going to get worse. And the next generation is going to get worse. And before you know it, America is going to crumble or it will be a complete police state. You won't be able to leave. The rights that you have are only there because you take them. And that requires action, not sitting at home watching the news. It requires speaking up when it's uncomfortable to speak up. It might require eventually bearing arms if it comes to that. I hope we don't come to civil war. I hope we don't come to conflict. 
but it could happen. And the way things are trending, it almost seems like it's inevitable. So let's use our freedom of speech first to make sure we don't have to exercise our Second Amendment rights. Like, subscribe, share if you want. At least subscribe because i got more videos like this coming out. You can also find the show on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, anywhere there's podcasts. And if you're interested in red pilling on health and seeing the reality of a situation and saying no to big farmer, big food, and, and bad, big, bad government, then head over to Colin Stuckert. Link will be below. I hope to see you in the next one.